what's up everybody all right guys so um i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what i've got what i've got going on in the back of my mind for the channel moving forward so there's been a lot of a lot of questions about why i haven't been posting um my guide for conan and my walkthrough for the new age of war and i'm going to be completely honest with you guys um yes i have content for it um yes i have videos ready to be uploaded for it um quite a few actually about six or seven um i'm actually pretty far ahead already i just haven't done it some of them aren't fully edited um some of them are uploaded they're just not like you're not visible you just can't see them right now i have them all hidden and stuff like that um and it's because I'm trying to come to a decision about what I want to do with my channel. Um, for the last two to three years, I've been playing survival games pretty heavily. Um, but what most people don't know is I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV pretty heavily as well for the last 11 years. Actually, more so than like Conan, Ark, Seven Days to Die, and stuff like that. Uh, matter of fact, you guys are actually watching um, me do uh, one of the level 90 dungeons um, right now on my Sage. Um, that's kind of what's just playing in the background. And I've been deciding, like, do, do I really want to go through with the continuation of my Conan stuff? And I do. I do want to try to do that for you guys. I just don't think I want to make it part of my main channel anymore. And I, and this is probably not, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I have mixed feelings and I really want to do something that everybody else wants uh, me to do. And I realize that they're going to probably be people that probably only watch or even remotely follow me because of Conan. Um, Cause that's how you guys found me. And I do apologize. But I was just, I'm the type of person that just kind of goes with the flow with what I'm in the mood. And I'm just really not in the mood to play Conan anymore, really. Um, so I'm kind of forcing myself to um, try to get this content out for you guys. Like, I'm really trying to keep my motivation up to do that. And I'm, st I'm, I'm starting to lose motivation, basically. So... I need a shift. I need to do something different. I need to start something different. And this is a little bit about what I wanted to do for many, many years. So myself and my wife have been playing Final Fantasy XIV together pretty much since the beta version of 1.0. Um, we started playing... Um, Final Fantasy XI together back in 2001. I actually started playing Final Fantasy XI online in the beta version, actually the Japanese version, which actually came out before it came out in the, in the Western countries, specifically the U.S., um, which was in 2000. So I have been playing for 23 years, um, for the most part, for the better of 23 years. Um, Final Fantasy Online specifically. And I really enjoy Final Fantasy Online. Um, I've done every aspect of the entire game from 11, except for everything that came after Wings of the Goddess, because that was around the time that I stopped. That was when Final Fantasy XI started to go downhill for me, was Wings of the Goddess, and I think I lasted about four years after that, and I, my motivation just kind of simmered off, because I, by then, I was already starting to get into 14. So... Um, yeah, by, by the time, yeah, about, about four years into Wings of the Goddess, because there was another expansion, and they did some stuff with the end game crap. They raised level cap again and picked everybody off by changing the mechanics of the way end game worked, and everybody's hard work they put into the game for like six years was pretty much thrown out the window, blah, 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 blah. blah. But, anyways. <laughs> but, um. I started wanting to take Final Fantasy XIV more seriously. But due to some life, well, you could say unfortunate 
circumstances as well as fortunate circumstances kind of made my priorities switch. And one of those was um, my daughter was born, our first kid. So, you know, she's five years old now. So this was like five years ago. Well, actually about five and a half years ago, because obviously once she was, you know, my wife was pregnant, I had to make a decision on whether or not I wanted to um, continue on with my, because I used to stream back then. I didn't YouTube. Um, I was really heavy into streaming and I would stream every day for about five hours a day. And that was my thing. That's what I did. But then, you know, once we found out my wife was pregnant and stuff like that, um, I decided to start taking a little bit more of a backseat thing to streaming. And then ended up going down to like two days a week because I was working more that, you know, so I could support, you know, our family that was about to get started, kicked off. And um, going into that, you know, two years after our daughter was born, we lost everything in a fire. So then we had to deal with all of that fallout. Um, then we were, you know, you know, su you know, being supported off of family for about a good half a year to a year while we got back on our feet. Um, and then during that time, you know, I had to get all new computer stuff because I lost everything that I had. Um, a lot of, you know, my gaming stuff that I've been collecting for years was all lost. So it, it mentally took a toll on me because everything that I had saved up and built up you know, in my late teens and early 20s to mid 20s, roughly, um, was gone because I lost it all. We lost almost everything in the fire. Um, so my motivation to start back up kind of simmered out. And I really wanted to start doing YouTube and streaming for Final Fantasy, but I kind of missed my opportunity. Um, and then, you know, I was still playing the game on the side. I ended up buying a, a PlayStation so I could at least play on the side. Um, cause I couldn't afford at the time cause of us having a kid and stuff like that, a new computer, but you know, I finally was able to get my new computer built and, uh, start, uh, my YouTube channel. And then that computer took a, you know, a dump on me, uh, because of some technical difficulties during the build that caused problems. And it's just, it was one thing after another. And I, I pretty much almost gave up hope on it. So at the time I just started playing survival games just casually, um, starting with, um, Ark, um, and then moving over to like other games and then Conan and all that kind of fun stuff. So that's a little bit of, you know, where my channel started, but I always originally wanted my channel to be a final fantasy specifically online for like 11 and 14. And that was always, you know, my thing. I just like playing games, but I like playing final fantasy and I really wanted my channel to be built around that. And I feel like I missed the opportunity to do that. Um, I missed the bandwagon for Final Fantasy XIV. And then I got to talking with a buddy of mine who was just like, you didn't miss the bandwagon for fourteen, And I'm like, in my head I did. Because by, by now, lots of the big named people out there are pretty much established. And what's a, you know, somebody like me just jumping on ten years into the into the fight isn't going to get that much attention so why bother and then he he told me he goes the same reason you play games you do it to have fun just do it and if you get 10 people that enjoy watching your content then you get 10 people if you get 10,000 people that enjoy watching your content then you get 10,000 people don't worry about the rest and I'm like sitting there thinking to myself well no shit <laughs> so I'm really debating about doing what I always wanted to do, which was Final Fantasy content on my channel. But I still want to be able to do the survival games because, you know, I made a commitment to that and I don't want to just stop doing it. So it might simmer down a lot. And that's where I got hit by that one. That one time I got hit because I stood in the wrong spot. Anyways. <laughs> um, but... I, I I feel like the whole point in me doing content for Final Fantasy is because I just enjoy doing content for Final Fantasy. Um, I, I would enjoy it because I love playing the game. Now, will my content be as flashy and, you know, comedic as some people out there? No, you know, I'm no Joe Cat. <laughs> I think we can all agree with that. But... I'm also no master editor either. 
you know, I know the basics and I just record stuff, do a little bit of editing and I'll post it. And that's what it's going to be. It's just going to be me doing casual gameplay, doing dungeons, doing stuff with my guild, which did die off. Uh, most of you guys don't know this, though, but I did run a massive Final Fantasy guild that stretched between 11 to 14. We had almost a thousand members for like 17 years. Um, and then over the last two years, it just died off. Um, and that had a lot to do with my own personal life. I was no longer there to micromanage the other 20 different leaders we had. And, you know, they ended up squabbling amongst themselves and destroyed the FC slash quote unquote guild because it wasn't just Final Fantasy 14. Um, and they ended up making their own discord and like a good 45 percent of our active member base left with them or left with the, the handful of the leaders that they actually wanted to go with. And then the ones that stayed behind tried to keep things together, but the motivation just wasn't there anymore, and everybody just quit and went their separate ways, and it died off. I mean, within two years, we went from a thousand plus member Discord to twenty-seven, no, seventy-six, <laughs> seventy-six people in two years. So it was a massive blow to uh, the community. Um, but you know, all good things have to come to an end. You I mean, unless you have a really good leadership group that's able to hold things together, I'm surprised we lasted 17 years. Most groups don't. Um, most groups don't even last five years. But uh, anyways, so I just wanted to kind of irradiate. Irridi? Irridi? Hmm. Yeah, well, you guys know where I'm going with that word. I can't pronounce it right now. Um that the channel is going to start making some strides and moves towards Final Fantasy XIV content. Um, I'm going to push myself to actually get those other episodes out for the Conan playthrough. I can't guarantee that it'll be more than one episode a week moving forward because Final Fantasy XIV definitely requires a lot of time to get stuff together. Um, and I'm just one person, and then I also work from home, because, you know, I've got kids that I watch, so I'll do what I can. But, for the most part, yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, in terms of where I'm going to start, um, I'm looking at, uh, I want to do, um, video like the uh, the opening videos for each of the uh, you know the deal the expansion packs I don't want to say DLCs but the expansion packs um, so I'm gonna do that even though it's kind of pointless to do like reaction or you know videos and stuff but I kind of want to talk about it because as somebody who did play 1.0 the entire time um, unlike most people um, I I got to experience the good and the bad and I. I like to do like that little commentary of like things like that. Like, oh yeah, I re this happened because of this. And I remember when, you know, this was happening and we did this and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I want to talk like a little bit about, you know, the events that happened before a 1.0, things that happened during 1.0, and then things that happened after 1.0 leading into 2.0 as we're watching those trailers. So you can get it from a perspective of somebody who's actually experienced and played the game and already knows the context behind those trailers where somebody who's just doing a reaction video wouldn't understand the context behind it where somebody like me would. Um, to some extent, I'm not gonna go into like massive lore detail, but I'll give you the basic breakdown before we start. And um, what we're gonna do from there is move into doing a story playthrough on a fresh character i'm not going to use my character that i'm playing right now um my sage slash lulu here uh i will not be using her even though i could do new game plus um because i want the experience to be as closely resemblant to an actual um fresh start new player so you can see how you would how you move through the world and how you interact with the world while starting the game fresh. Um, this way, there's no... Um, I just realized I have my system sound up. Because I can hear the click, 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 click from me mashing my attack button. 
<laughs> Sorry to distract me for a second. So yeah, that's kind of the game plan. And then I'm also going to do um, a little bit of uh, guild videos because we are rebuilding the guild. Um, I do, by the way, I do play on um, Crystal Goblin, uh, Crystal Data Center, North America, Goblin server. Um, I've been on the Goblin server for about eight years. Hello, Discord. Um, I think, no. I don't know. Can't see it. Um, but yeah. So that's where we're going to be playing. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end it here. Um, and I will see you guys in the game here probably within the next week. Um, I am planning on doing that. Uh, and yeah, after that, we will move forward. So yeah, that direction we're going to be moving, guys. Again, we're going to be moving towards... Uh, doing the reaction talk trailers where I kind of talk about the events a little bit, talk about how the certain things happened. And then from there, we're going to move into creating our fresh character and we're going to do a fresh playthrough of the story. Um, I, they are going to be in large chunks. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to have them in small chunks of like 20 to 30 minutes, or if I'm going to have it as one large chunk where it's going to be like two to three hours of me playing and I'm just going to post that as a video. So because you have to keep in mind, if you're not experienced with 14, it is a story driven game. So there is a lot of talking. Um, I'm going to avoid as much as possible of the clutter conversations. And I'm going to focus on the main story stuff because there's going to be a, there's a lot of fillers in a realm reborn. And I'll, exp I'll get into the detail behind why there's so much is because, um, I'll explain that when we actually get to that point uh, where we make the character. I'm not going to do it here. But there's an actual reason behind why there's so much fillers in 2.0 versus every other expansion. There's a reason why it shrinks as you move through the expansions because there's a very logical reason behind it. And most people don't know that. Well, most people do, but most forgot from the earlier groups. And a lot of people that are new to the game who weren't here in the beginning when 2.0 first launched... Um, as a realm reborn, they don't understand why there's so much filler content. But anyways, that's here nor there. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end it here because this is going on almost 20 minutes now. Um, again, I do apologize for everybody that has been hoping that I was going to be pushing out tons of Conan, con Conan content. I'm still going to, but it's going to be very limited moving forward because I want to start moving towards... Final Fantasy 14 because I've I've made the decision that it's something that I've always wanted to do and I know that I'm late on the bandwagon but I have been a longtime supporter of the community I really enjoy the game and I want to be able to share my personal experience and my personal um, I guess you could say experiences yeah that's the best way to put it I'm yeah I'm just beat around a horse at this point but of the game itself and how i've always felt about it and i want to be able to enjoy what i'm doing and i'm just not getting that enjoyment anymore out of survival games i feel like i have to force myself to play them where in final fantasy i don't force myself to play it it's just there and i play it and that's what i've always been about when it comes to content so anyways guys so i'm going to end it here i will see you guys in the next um episode of whatever we end up doing how that ends up going out from here but uh definitely look forward to seeing those little reaction talk tra uh, videos that we'll be doing on the trailers um before we start our fresh character within the next week to two weeks hopefully but we'll see anyways guys take care and i will see you guys later